Man, as a Louisville fan, it was so hard trying to get tickets to the Louisville Kentucky game. I know it happens every year, but it's so hard to get tickets. It should not be that hard to get a ticket to support your team and be a true fan. And with game time, that problem is no longer an issue. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fastest, easy way to get your tickets to the next big event and the price is guaranteed. So go ahead and take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. So download the game time at make account, use promo code club520 and get $20 off. Sign up. And while you at it, go ahead and use the promo code CLUB520 for $20 off your first purchase on the app. Don't forget, use CLUB520 for the promo code. You get that $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Subscribe to our YouTube, CLUB520. Uh, we clowning on that mother Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Same gang with me. My dog to my left, Bishop B. Hen, out the prairies. My nigga, how you what today? Cool and nasty. I am the Isidore Ambassador. Big game coming. Big charity game. Isidore and Club 520, February 15th at Warren Central High School. Tickets will be available when you see this episode. Just click the link in the bio. Out the gate. What else is happening after the game? No. Uh... The freaky after party. Oh. After the charity game. At All Stars. Oh, I thought you said at your house. I was gonna say that's crazy. Oh wow. <laughs> I was gonna say is that a ticket to the bit? Where the fuck up my promo? <laughs> Clown ass <laughs> thing. <laughs> after party at All Stars. 520 and friends. Pull You're, up. That party starts freaky, at 10, uh, 10 and 3. You feel me? <laughs> Getting to a party at 10 o'clock is crazy. Move on, man. Thank you for starting the whole business, B-Hit. I appreciate yeah, you, you, know, you, my man, nigga. I'm trying, he said bro. freaky. I was like, oh, it's going to have this house. Don't worry. No, it was Mike after party when you said freaky. Special, oh, my fault. Special interruption for this show. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. And on that note, <laughs> I don't know what he's on. My dog, Young Nacho, Young Tig. How you what, coach? I'm <laughs> Coach, oh shit, it just went bad. I'm good, man, chilling, man. Oh, she's sad ass. But anyway, chilling, man. I forgot to wear my phone, so that's my fault, y'all. I owe y'all a week, whatever. Who cares? Fuck it. <laughs> Niggas was like, you wearing it, but you ain't hooping in them. Yeah, facts. Definitely not hooping in no phone. Shit's hurt like a motherfucker. But now nah, I got on some ones. I, I had forgot. They, these was in my car, so I had forgot my phone. It's my bad. All right, we here. You got the ones on. What's the best retro one color? My my favorite is the shadows. Mm. The OGs or the yeah, uh, OGs. The okay. OGs. I'm a Chicago nigga. I honestly like those. What are the orange and black ones called? The patent leather. Uh, shadow backboards. Yeah, them hard. For a fashion, fashionable purposes. Uh, Only ones I really hate is the black and green ones. The COVID Jordans. And those Maybe. got slutted out. I seen all them niggas talking about Ninja Turtles about changing those laces, and that's when I decided you niggas was really out of pocket. I think the black and blue ones don't get they just do, though. The royal blue. Royal one's one of the best ones ever. And I hate blue Jordans, but those are top tier. Yeah. Them decent. Those are decent. Them making the new one sway, though, was kind of assy. Trash. Yeah. That's, that's Trash. That fucking lies. That should have made them leather. Yeah. Well, they was already leather. That should have made them something else. I don't know. Just make the... Just make the shit we like. Just make yeah. the shoe. Yeah. yeah, the shit. Like, we should not have to be fighting to keep white shoes clean for three years. Make the white cement threes come out every year. Like, the shit niggas gonna rock. Hey, drop them, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. But, hey, man, breaking news, Jim Harbaugh. You know what I'm saying? He going to L.A. He about to be the coach of the Chargers. And I can't believe that he really about to duck these allegations in Michigan. He had one of the best years on the absolute low. We ain't never seen a nigga suspended mid-year and get a chip. Not in recent mm -hmm. history, at least for me. He put in the time, man. He deserved it. I mean, Michigan was bad for so many. Not bad, but they was missing the chip for so many years. Mm -hmm. They was due. Yeah. They was due, but damn. That's crazy, because they was talking bad about him a couple years ago. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. Urban Meyer leaving kind of really opened that door for him to really go crazy, because Ryan Day ain't scratched that nigga since he got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ohio State ain't been the same since my boy left, but we straight. Damn. That's crazy, because they've been getting all this NFL talent, but they ain't been winning shit. Yeah, it be like that sometimes. And speaking of Michigan, we do have to apologize. We heard y'all. Yes, Magic Johnson went to Michigan State. We was out of pocket. Be him was out of pocket. Oh, oh yes. I love him. I wasn't out of pocket. I ain't say nothing. That nigga lame, bro. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Magic Johnson. That was my bad, for sure. He said shout out to Magic. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. He said on the court. <laughs> I ain't say nothing. I'm a... All right, let's pod today. <laughs> oh, I love it with the team chemistry at all. Yeah, let's pod. He said, see what? Yeah. He thought he brought y'all something special. Oh, okay. He said, right. even Michigan State. That's, That's what something what special, all right. <laughs> hey, yo, okay. That's oh, crazy. Okay. <laughs> We can move on. Shout out to Jim. Going to get that another bag, though. Run it up. Welcome. Hey, for real, that banner is definitely coming down, but I respect it. <laughs> the time is now. Yeah, right, my quarterback's good, though, so Justin Herbert might be in good hands. That nigga was already good now. Yeah, but he was... Mm, he, Our ball gonna turn him up. The, you know, I feel like he kind of got the Josh Allen tax a little bit early on, but don't nobody get the Josh Allen tax like Josh Allen, bro. Yeah. If anybody else had the things that he was accomplished or shortcomings, they would not give him the same praise. But more importantly, I want to see how y'all felt about this. We got Pat versus Lamar coming up this weekend. A lot of people have been saying that's the black version of Brady and Manning. They, they're fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very That's out of pocket? Yeah. That's, that's that, disrespectful. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of that comparison. I'm just like, I guess I get it, but I don't. Uh, Pat is that nigga, but I think Lamar. It's just nowhere near the same. Nah, on any level, it's nowhere near the same. It can't. It's not even a real rivalry. Nah, before the before the Peyton Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Realistically, Lamar got the MVP. Mm-hmm. Mahomes got MVP Super Bowls. I could, yeah. And yeah, if you look play. early on, Peyton didn't have the playoff wins. Mm-hmm. It, those wins came later in his career, kind of yeah, like it is with they Lamar had, now. They won during the season. They had real battles. Yeah, Coach still played the Patriots throughout the season. Shit. Factual, they had a yeah, real, yeah. It became had a real history, bro. Yeah. Like, this is just a tight game that we finna watch. Yeah, it's very one sided right now. Yeah, but is it? I, I want to see Lamar pull the dub. Who you think it's one sided for? Ah, oh, for the Chiefs right now because they they've been clapping shit. And oh, been... I thought you meant like this year the game. You saying like the rivalry is one sided? Yeah, but it I... ain't a rivalry. But no, absolutely, that's what yeah. I mean by that too. But I think Lamar. I hope Lamar wins this year. I, I would love Lamar to get Super Bowl MVP. That would be yeah, that'd great. be hard. That'd be hard. That'd be great. I mean, Pat get one. We still ain't tripping because it's Pat. The legacy continues. I just am tired of seeing Travis Kelsey girlfriend on my TV screen. Bro, why they keep doing that? <laughs> Media, bro, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, that's a, that's every time wild. he make a play, they gotta show her. Twitter, like, yes, at this point, bro. I'm tired of her, bro. She gets the highlight clip before they show the actual play. Yeah, if I'm, you see the shorts on YouTube, like Twitter and shit, they show her going crazy and then the replay. I mean, that's now wild. I don't say that. Y'all just act like she's the biggest thing on earth. So she is, but uh, okay, damn. so understand what come with it when you dating her. You thought you was hated, like you said that Michael Jackson shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm tired of saying, bro. I'm, I'm watching a football game, bro. I'm not going to a country ass. concert, bro. I'm a Travis Kelsey fan, bro. I wanted to see him score the touchdown. I didn't want to see his girl. They come as one. Respect. That's crazy. They coming for you. I ain't tripping. Come for me. I'm just saying. Who, can, we, can we name five um, Taylor Swift songs? Yeah, I'm gas can we name not three? me. I can't name you one, nigga. I can't. Um, I can't name nothing. But I know she big as shit. <laughs> hey, she still thug to me for re-recording her old albums to say, hey, don't listen to that shit. Listen to this. Yeah. That's, she I, a billionaire. Respect. I know that. But I'm just saying, though. I'm watching a football game. I ain't trying to see that man girl every time. No disrespect. She ain't an ugly looking lady, but uh, enough. Yeah, like, think, bro. You know, I have no other see. athlete dated somebody that big. On they ain't show Sierra Saturday. like that when she was a boy. They ain't never paid to that, that box. Sierra <laughs> barely came on the Hawks jumbo train, <laughs> let alone somebody TV. <laughs> What we talking about? Hey, speaking of Jumbo Tron, Chris Brown telling Karuchi that he was going to the store and was at the game Rihanna. It's top five moves of all time. Shout out to Sierra. He said that. Uh, ain't no smut. I'm just saying. Yeah. What did he do? He told Karuchi he was going to the grocery store and he was at the game Rihanna. Legend. When? He's from years back. That, that when did this, this story come up? A long time ago. I ain't never heard that. That's for that's play. Said I'm going to the store. It was with Rihanna. Catch me in the jumbo <laughs> But did he date Karuchi after Rihanna? Yeah. That's, that's, that's even worse. No, no. <laughs> that's even worse. That's why. Shout out to CB. If he did that, that's smooth. Hey, that's fine. He a legend. But enough of seeing Taylor Swift. Like, it, enough, man. For real, y'all. y'all uh, Who else so- dated a famous girl? I don't ever see you. And, and, I mean, they try to do um, the dude from the Packers and uh, Simone Piles. Am I correct? With that? Simone like, check me. Uh-huh. Um, but he was acting like he didn't know who she was beforehand. Yeah, yeah they tried to they try to make that something. It was just like, baby girl, he not that cold. 
<laughs> Taylor Swift yeah. is the biggest. Like if Rihanna, I mean, she's huge. If post. Rihanna dated, I don't know somebody in the NBA, they would show LeBron. her all the time, bro. But I don't think that. I don't think the NBA would show them like that. Mm. Mm. Nah, not all the time. Not every time he make a play. Well, niggas, niggas score thirty points in the NBA. Yeah, so but I'm saying like fifteen times is crazy. She might. They but, might show that's her. Fire, though. <laughs> they might show her at the I'm game. Like, like, oh, his wife. Yeah, could time out shit. Yeah, his wife football. is here. So if Rihanna dated Pat Mahomes, Rihanna's gonna get. Shot. Like when Chris Humphries dated with Kim Kardashian, they ain't show her every time. Uh, like, bro, <laughs> not showing that they got the nigga grab a rebound. <laughs> Don't show my bitch. <laughs> Tristan Thompson. <laughs> they show Chloe. Hey, Tristan Thompson, stay out of GNC, nigga. You out of pocket. Hey, I'm shouting. Man, shout out to the TT 13. I'll fuck with TT, but nigga, what are you taking steroids for? It's over, <laughs> nigga. Hey, I was dying on Twitter. <laughs> Niggas was just like, Joel B had 70, Cat had 62. This nigga had four points. And they was like, nah, we just made it. <laughs> <laughs> like, but what? Tristan, for real. What are you taking the Roy's for? I ain't gonna say you taking steroids. I don't know what the fuck you take. But for what? Nigga, you sitting with me. <laughs> hey, bro. He probably taking some other shit, bro, for off the court action, bro. And the shit caught you up. Right. The shit's in the you system. right. That nigga might put. <laughs> Damn. That nigga was trying to go Thunderstorm. So. <laughs> what shit to call? We put them diamonds in this shit. Yeah, that nigga was trying to go Thunderstorm. That shit then came back with. Goddamn HGH that bitch. <laughs> that that nigga bought a bulldog. What the motherfucker <laughs> called? Uh, it's back for school. It's bluffing out. I said, damn, that nigga built like Barry Boss. <laughs> what the fuck? That nigga put the honey pack in his Gatorade and got active. Show him big as hell. He's definitely got doing try for basketball. That nigga was trying to double down on something. He probably had a three-piece. <laughs> nigga said, let me hit the grocery store, gas station, try to take a bulldog. What the fuck What them shit's called? He probably... That nigga said, I got more kids. I need more money. Fuck it. Yeah, I feel that. Nigga. He probably, My shit. nigga slaughtering shit. That shit don't leave your system until about a month, probably. This shit he got. That nigga so. probably was drinking water, didn't he know. <laughs> Boy, he didn't even know. He's dehydrated. Like, man, that shit <laughs> took me out. <laughs> nigga, they got a piss test in the dumb. He tearing some shit up in every city, slaughtering shit. <laughs> Soon after the game, nigga, he putting him in under his tongue, nigga. Going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> now this nigga bad for 25 games, but you know it's over now. Come on. Bro, fuck, I, you know you you know I love you, nigga. Come on, fuck with me. Come to 520, bro. We come got a spot on, for you, my You nigga. know, go back to ESPN, come fuck me. The basketball over now, buddy. Yeah, cause a nigga not getting in the game, taking steroids. <laughs> come crazy. on, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Oh, yeah, you already know. <laughs> Chief for no reason is hilarious. I don't, but that's what I'm saying. He probably like, fuck, I wasn't even playing. I don't give a fuck about the game. Y'all fucked up my Steelo. <laughs> <laughs> he probably had a cool little plug, everything. Going hammer yeah. time. His All Star weekend was just starting. They hating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it started now. Nigga, oh, what's up? Yeah, full of blue dolphins. Full amount of time. The blue dolphins. <laughs> That's what it was. The blue dolphins. Ain't that up, bitch? There's just bad boys too. <laughs> 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 hey, that's crazy. Hey, man, niggas been going crazy in the league. Obviously, Joel getting that seventy ball is insane. But Cat getting sixty two and making them lose is funnier. It is funny. I, I ain't gonna say it's funny, but that shit's hilarious. You know how it is when you start getting how people start force feeding you the basketball. Like, yeah. they'll score, keep scoring, keep scoring. That's all they was doing. And they was joking around with the Hornets. They was beating their ass for a second. Did you see uh, Coach Finch in the post game? He's like, we deserved it. Yeah, he was out of pocket. Nah, he was pissed, though. Yeah, he was out of pocket, though. I feel like he wouldn't have said that about AE. Nah, because he, you know why he out of pocket? Because he was letting them do the shit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's like yeah. me getting mad at the Pike kids. You can't, you keep turning the ball. Like, I, like, I don't take you out when you turn it over. Ain't that a bitch? Yeah. That's why your ass on the bench next game. He let it. He let it run it up, for sure. Yeah, facts. <laughs> but when it was all going gravy, when nigga had 40 in first half, he wasn't saying nothing because they was winning. 44. Mm-hmm. Like, letting them do that shit, but. Shout out to them boys. They was hoping. Yeah, shout out to Cat. That's just one game down. That's all right. Yeah. Speaking of the Hornets, Terry Rozier. Man, is he free now in Miami? Shout out to TR, Ooh. man. That's a that's a very good look for them. So glad you got up out that motherfucker dungeon, no. bro. Yeah, <laughs> Terry Rozier, a hooper, bro. He can yeah. hoop. Real league buckets. Now yeah. he gets to play some winning basketball, for real. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. Hey, you know how, you know what you got, 48 hours, 72 hours to report? That yeah. nigga was there in 12. Oh, he was already there? That nigga, he played tonight. Oh, yeah, he loved it. He couldn't wait. I know where he's going. Booby trash. <laughs> uh, I would have been there on time hey, too. The night my debut, he gonna get twenty his debut. It's there, my fuck probably got him a nice pen set up. He probably already got a house there. Yeah, he probably lived there in the summer. 
I feel like Terry Rozier live in Miami. He do be Miami. working out with John Wall now. He do be out there Damn, in the summer. You he right. Do. He already got crib in Miami. <laughs> That's why he left. He's some going home. Shout out to know TR, how. man. Yes. Good move, bro. Fact. You Good deserve move. it, bro. You've been dealing with that AU team for the last three years. Nah, and you remained a pro mm-hmm. in your situation. You been so killing I, the whole time, too. I fuck with that. Now he about to go down to a winning coach or he about to come. Yeah. The Heat needed him too bad. They needed him. Because mm-hmm. Kyle Lowry was not giving them what they needed to be it's successful over, in the It's over. K-Lo, he had a hell of a career. For sure. Come on, visit me. Yeah. Come to 520. Come, come Buy him me. out and let him go somewhere. And, yeah, good you know go. I mean? But you see the new rule. Um, if he gets bought out, it's like a top four teams. Like it's some middle of reception shit he can't even go to. So it's kind of like he got to go to like a four or five, fifth seed. He can't even go to a one, two, or three seed like right now. Oh, that's, that's nuts. nuts. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of He can up. go to motherfucking Phoenix though. Yeah. Hey, you see, they trying to get Miles Bridges. That'll be hard. I don't know if y'all want to go that route. Y'all yeah, gonna say, hey, up, bro. That's it's a hell of a pickup. Yeah, I mean, y'all cold, but... <laughs> Yo. I think, I think nah, he'd be cold. I don't know if he fit them, really, but I need Kyle Lowry, actually. I, I agree. Um, I see the rest of the horn. They're trying to get, they're trying to get Gordon Hayward about it, too. Yeah, yeah, damn. Yeah, it's time for him to go. Come on to the Pacers, G. No. Yeah, bro, he fit y'all. Are you crazy? Y'all get him on a buyout? Enough. Nah, bro, he fit y'all. Another big win. You know, you know what we would do. You know how crazy they went for him then. They will still be on that same shit with oh, him, bro. Shit. Yeah, facts. Go Uh-oh. crazy for him. Gotta get a gym. Be here, work on your pass right there, my boy. Party foul. My bad. Damn. But nah, y'all could use him though. Nah, nah like some real shit. Not yeah. joking. Like y'all could really use Gore Hayward. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, I like I That's said, that's your OG. Y'all want an OG and Pascal? Y'all get Gore Hayward. Let me say right now, if that I want an OG right and Obi and ended up with Gore and Hayward, I'm fucking pissed. Why? Because he, OG and Obi's better. Ain't younger. Debatable. He younger, but you ain't got him for the same price. You got him for the minimum now. Touche. That's another thing I seen uh, interesting about that uh, Terry Rozier to Miami. It was just like, I mean, he's not Dame, but the type of player you needed and what you had to give up to get him in, that like, they low-key won yeah. by, like, not getting Dame. Yeah. And speaking of Dame, hey, man, Milwaukee. That's fucked up. Fear the deer. We got Doc Rivers. Nah, fear the patience. They told us that after we beat their ass in the season tournament, they lost the locker room. We broke the Bucks. Pause. No pause. <laughs> <laughs> we was on that. <laughs> hey, man, Doc Rivers getting that job is crazy as fuck. After being his advisor, that is nuts, bro. Yeah, I knew that. Was, bro. You knew that was coming, though. The business. That's I knew sick. that was coming. But that's sick, though. And that don't have shit to do with basketball. They 30 and 13, bro. So He ain't had a locker room. They ain't probably... I ain't gonna say they didn't respect him, but they just probably felt like, hey man, I didn't accomplish more. I like I know what the fuck. Like I could see Giannis being like, nah, nah, <clears throat> nah. You can't tell me that. Nah. And he got the right to say that. And Dame was like, shit, he's hard for him to get adjusted to that type of offense. So they probably just needed a difference, bro. Shout out to Griff. But what getting offense though, like. But getting Doc makes it. That's funnier. what he said though. Like he, shit is kind of hard for me to play in this offense that they got. Like, so obviously it's some type of system that Dame ain't accustomed to or can't get with right now. He got to figure it out on his own. So shit. Yeah. But what does Doc do to make that team different? Just no. out of respect level? <laughs> yeah, because he do the same shit. That I always care to say. <laughs> I just watched him in Philly. With the MVP. The shit wasn't no better. I know they're going to beat the shit out of the Pacers with Doc. Shit. Yeah. Bet you that. What's the record against Teague? Bet you that. 30 and 13. Now, what's the record against the Pacers? 4-1? Oh, we ain't worried know. about them niggas. They had need a new coach because of us. Yeah. All right. Even Y'all better nigga, pray that matchup don't happen. Even though my nigga Tyrese dressed like he in the speakeasy, we still want to smoke. <laughs> my nigga did have his... Uh, hey. Dressed like Music Soul Child. <laughs> nigga, in the buddy video. <laughs> that nigga dressed like he was about to pull out a magnifying glass. <laughs> Come nigga, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> nigga was like... He asked every bitch at the barbecue for a hug. <laughs> oh, t- <laughs> <laughs> hey, there was nothing worse in high school than can I get a hug, nigga? Ugh, you're nasty. That was definitely him. Look at him. Free he was like, I can't get a hug. Nah, bullshit. I'm just saying, I know better than you that. We talk that about nigga. free throws. That's the head. Every time we go see a guy do a Hendrick experience. <laughs> oh, he's got his arm out. Sorry. That's hug. the custom service. Hug my wife one more time. <laughs> we tell it. <laughs> we tell it. <laughs> <laughs> what that boy uh, say? That nigga always like it. What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> she knew the strap was fake, but she still ate it. <laughs> Who said that? She a criminal. 
Who said that? Freaky Ting, boy. Oh, you talking about when you was talking about the night before here? The before new- we got on the show. The Gremlins. He had, yeah, that boy going crazy. He had, he had some big girls on his uh, QKW oh, show. For sure. Wow. And he was... <laughs> Never mind. He talking about for sure. This is his words. <laughs> he said one of them was gay. And she said... When they do their thing. I didn't say that. They pull out the, they pull out the fake thing. And I said, damn, she still ate it. And he was like, yeah, like she a gremlin. <laughs> she knew it was fake, but she still ate. She a gremlin. We can move on, man. <laughs> so, that's, yeah, it boy. One, that's it on his little freaky show, bro. I'm going to tell you right now. QKW. If I see the word gremlin anywhere near the WBA account, <laughs> I am blocking them. Well, it was full of them. <laughs> All that off the court. <laughs> I, listen, <laughs> you can't say nothing. Lexi Brown was already mad at you. Well, why she mad at me? <laughs> because when we made that WBA joke a long time ago, they put it on you. But he said it. Oh, when he called so them, she the, just hated you. Oh, yeah, so when he called them the real plastic cup girls. <laughs> Is that brought on what? <laughs> the real plastic cup. I ain't girl. never said nothing about the W in my life. Shout out to Kevin Hart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I fuck with the WBA. That's him saying he can hear him. I love y'all. I want to come to He said he was hearing nachos. He can hear his crunch <laughs> through the whole gym. <laughs> he said you can take his crunch. I was like, Man, damn, that's crazy. Right. No slanders to the WBA. I We're not doing this. He to his cousin that was across the court. <laughs> so can you give me some nachos? <laughs> he said, hey, yeah. He said he whispered. <laughs> but Man. he said like the E-Gate twist song. <laughs> <laughs> he said he did like <laughs> All right, I'm done. Because it ain't got me funny. They try to push it on me. I ain't had that. I fuck with WBA. Boy, he be telling Kayla <laughs> <laughs> Clark about to come say the lead. Oh, man. Oh, man. God, nigga. This show is fucking ignorant. Hey, Kayla Clark coming to the fever? I pray so. If she don't keep running the fans. Well, she's staying in college. She got options to stay in college, right? Yeah, she do. But she should come to the fever. All right, hopefully. Hey, she. Aaliyah Boston, um... Shout out to Lee Boston. She said some fire shit in an interview about the NIL shit. She was just like, women and that's coming out of college, like, don't think of it as a negative thing to go to the WNBA because you could just transfer your NIL to a like uh to basically like a sponsorship. Mm-hmm. It's like your fans still follow you, like, don't listen to what the fuck they're talking about. You can still convert and get your money that way. And to hear her say that, I have never heard it broken down that way. And I'm like, Caitlin Clark don't need to stay at Iowa because yeah, she could probably still get that same bread. Oh, yeah, Kaylin Clark going to yeah. be a millionaire. Easy. And that like, pick and roll going to be elite. Yeah. I ain't going to watch, but <laughs> it's going to be elite. I want to come support. I ain't going to watch. Shout out to my favorite girl. Lie. Shout out to E-Weez. I like, I give yeah, shout out to her. She cool as hell. But I fuck with college sports when it comes to the WNBA. Like the girls game. It's just more entertaining to me. Like I ain't saying the <clears> WNBA ain't good, but the The w- product is different. Yeah, the college game, they be like, I don't know, it just be good. It be like a like the game be passionate. I feel like I kind of be a fan. Like the WNBA, I ain't y'all play at twelve. I damn near ain't woke up yet. Like yeah, the matinee games kill me. Yeah, but I will say, and I've said this the last couple of years, the women's final four has been way better than the men's. That's a fact. And way I'm, way better. And I'm a fan. I will go to the women's final mm-hmm. four before I go to the men's final four. Oh, easily. The yeah, women's tournament is way way better. Oh. And the fire part, the, the teams get to play at the crib until you get to that point. Yeah. I think it's super fire. Yeah, that's hard. And I love, like, <laughs> South Carolina versus Iowa. That's a game. Every time if that yeah. ever come, I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. LSU versus South Carolina, fire. Guaranteed TV. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever. It ain't a game. <laughs> I think them games is better than a Duke, North Carolina. DJ, what you got? Ooh. I'm saying right now this year? Yeah, the rivalries, yeah, because Are North you Carolina tapping into trash. a Duke, Duke Carolina right now, or are you tapping into a South Carolina? Yeah, if South Carolina women's basketball playing, I'm watching that over. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching Angel Reese and LSU play against South Carolina before I watch whoever on Duke. I don't even know who on Duke this year. And I'm whoever sure. on North Carolina. I don't who know who on North Carolina. Uh, nobody uh, that you care about. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But I know people on a girls team. You know, I had a question about y'all. Like, because it's McDonald's time. Um, and you see people getting their post up and shit. Does that shit mean anything anymore? Like, what means anything to these kids as far as accolades now? Because I feel like the McDonald's shit don't mean, like, the same shit as it used to to us. Oh no, they give a fuck. Probably, oh, that's, that's they care about being uh, a burger yeah, boy. They don't okay. fuck about that. But like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like, I mean, we kind of grew up in the golden era of players getting that recognition before social media break. Mm-hmm. So like, I was watching through the fire the other day. Shout out to Bessie, and I'm just like, damn, like that McDonald's game and shit was like iconic type shit. Yeah, yeah. I just don't see that same energy for them. Maybe because it's social media, but yeah, I ain't watched a McDonald's game in years. So 
Yeah. It's been a while, but I mean, social media mm. just shows you what goes on now. We had to wait to see it through the wire or whatever to see mm. the every day. Now we follow one of the youngsters that we know. That nigga's going to show us getting out of the car in Chicago, walking to the Ronald McDonald house, mm. talking, mm. chopping up in a hotel. This is what we got. So, I mean, I think that's what made it water down. But now nah, they still geek. We just get to see everything now, bro. Everything is just disposable now. Nah, for real. I really yeah. got a real question, though. Y'all don't think wait. college girls' basketball better than the men's basketball? It is. Bro, if that's your opinion, bro. I'm just asking. Do you, that, you don't think that? No, <clears throat> oh, because I know you keep directing that to me. No, nah, because he said he did. I'm just wondering, like, when the last time you watched, not even trying to like be funny, when the last time you watched a college game? College oh, basketball game? Besides when we watched Ryan the other day. Shout uh, out to ISU. Probably about three weeks ago when I watched Reed and uh, Dillingham. Respect. Ride with the shifts. Yeah. <clears throat> You're going crazy. I'm a fan of his. <clears throat> As a Louisville fan, I don't even want to watch college basketball. I try. It's just like, I don't know. They ain't exciting to me. Like, even when I watch Kentucky, they, they got some exciting players. But it's like, some of them players, I'm like, man, I need to see him in the NBA. Yeah. Like, he might have a better role in the NBA. It ain't like when you was younger and we watched college. Like, it seemed like the coaches used to let them, like, Hoop a little more, oh, like, right. and you kind of fell in love with Paul. It's like the player, like, damn, he gonna be there for a year <clears> or two. <throat> now it's like, oh, Rob Cole, I'm gonna catch him in the league. When he get to the league, I'm gonna I'm tune in. I know he's good enough to go to the league. Yeah, like, and I feel like some of the players. I mean, we know this to be true, but they get held back because it's more or less about the coach than it is the actual players in yeah, some of these facts, situations. Facts. These institutes, because you know they want to do. He's gonna be there for a year, like. Yeah. Why is he coming off the bench? I know it makes sense for that team, but he's a lottery pick. Yeah. But I get it. But that's why I can't watch college. I can watch it, but that's why I ain't really tapped in like I should be. Like I am with the girls, because I can go watch Caitlin Clark. I know she about to do 38 and 10. And they about to let her do that shit. Yeah, they about to, game she about to shoot that. from half court. She about to do some wild shit. So it's like exciting to watch. I don't know what the fuck. Rob might not play. For no reason. Yeah. He... And De'Aaron Fox had a, like, a similar uh, synopsis last year about that. He was just like, I don't like the game because it's so crowded, so many wrestlers. Like, nobody gets space to really go do their thing. Yeah. Man, I feel like the girls ain't like that. Because it isn't, I don't know how she doing it, but she be doing it. And now the other girl from South Carolina, the point guard, she, she called like Kyrie. It's like, yeah. I like the little chick from USC, too. Nasty, Juju. Yeah. Nasty. She's one of them that they should, like, they should bump the rule for. She's WBA now. Yeah. She, she's got to waste three years of her life killing. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. special for sure. She's WBA ready for sure. And then Shorty from Notre Dame. I, I spaced her name right now. I feel terrible. But, like, she averaging, like, 20, and she locking up. Like, she averaging, like, four steals. Yeah. So, yeah, the women's game is in good hands. Um, I want to ask you, you know what I'm saying, All-Star time. How did you find out you was going to be an All-Star? Well, I watched the show, uh, TNT shit. Damn. Y'all agent didn't tell you beforehand? Nah, he knew. He told he knew, but he ain't tell me. He wanted me to like experience it with my family. JR. Yeah, he was like, he knew already like that morning. Mm-hmm. So he was like, he, you know, he was like, yeah, you should watch it. Yeah. Like, yeah, he was like, man, if you make it, it'd be great. If you don't, like, you know, sorry, right. keep keep going. But he already knew. So I think he told like my parents and them, like, y'all should watch it. But he ain't tell them that I made it. When you found out how many people called you and asked what they going to the game. <clears throat> then nobody called me. Uh, I knew I was going to bring all my brothers and sisters and shit. So it was like... Yeah, yeah, that's a family trip. Yeah, but I think that night... I think we had played the next day. So I wasn't even, like, tripping. I was hyped, but I wasn't really tripping. Damn. That motherfucker was in New York, too, wasn't it? Yeah. It was in Brooklyn, too, wasn't it? Yeah. It yeah. was in both cities. So we played at the Garden, though. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah. All I wanted to do was meet Jay-Z, so... How'd that go? I shook his hand. Damn. And I, Floyd Mayweather had on some cowboy boots. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Wait, what? Some like horse riding boots. Y'all remember that shit? I do. Some, yeah, some chaps or some shit. It was weird. He had on like horse riding outfit. But it was, nah, for real, if y'all, I don't know if y'all remember, but he was saying corsage boots. Nah, I remember the I boots. I don't remember the whole outfit, but I remember they zoomed in on them motherfuckers. Nah, I just so. remember it. Is that before he got the hair? Nah, this is, okay. this is, he's still swaggy. Image Mark Crawford was two niggas I didn't know that just really had hair. Yeah, Jamal. Yeah. Jamal don't age, bro. That nigga Benjamin Jada Button. Kiss too. Jada Kiss shit was crazy. Like, you just wouldn't be being bought on me or something. Yeah, crazy. I can't see you. But he had a lot. It was like brown. <laughs> oh, he's done this multiple times. Then. Yeah, it was like brown. Like, white with the brown. He's a repeat offender. 
<laughs> yeah, just going ball for GP is crazy. All right, I'm going to run through these. Um, so far, what we're looking at is the possibility we're going to be starting the All-Star game so far with these fan boats coming back. We're going to start in the East and the guards, the top two vote getters. We got Tyrese and Trey Young. Right behind them, we got Dave Miller. Trey Young that high? Trey Young got, yeah. Atlanta showed up for that boy. Finally, acting like the nigga ain't cold. And then yeah. in the front court, you got Giannis, Joel B, Jason Tatum. That, that, that looks about promising to me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if Trey Young gets a start. I could see maybe Tyrese Maxey getting up there. Maybe. Um, I mean, he's going to probably be an all-star from just being in the situation. Do you situation. think, all right, this is a great question. So who should the guards be? Should it be Tyrese Maxey, Jalen Brunson, Tyrese Halliburton, Dame Lillard? <laughs> I think if we're going off this year alone and we're not adding too much stuff in it, you got to put Jalen Brunson and Tyrese. Do you think they all make it? No, I don't think all those guards make it. Because Jalen Brown got to make it. But would you consider <clears> him a wing? Uh, I'm looking at this list here, and they have Jalen Brown as a roster, front right? Mm -hmm. It's a 12? It's a 12-man 12 12 roster. All right, so run them down. Let's run them down. All right, so I'm going to go top six in both categories. So in the East, in the top six, you got Giannis, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, Jimmy Butler, Jalen Brown, Porzingis. And then in the guards position, you got Tyrese, Trey, Dane, Donovan, Tyrese, Maxey, Jalen Brunson. I'm not mad at that list, but I feel like Ben Carroll should be up there over Porzingis. He got to make it. Yeah. He been going crazy, and Orlando's been doing decent this year. Oh, They're just not on TV. Paulo got to make it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I ain't rolling with Porzingis. What's no the way. West Side? Yeah, me either. I'll yep. send y'all the list if y'all want to see all the numbers. No, for sure. On the West Side, um, you got in the front court, LeBron, Jokic, KD, top three. Yeah. Um, And then in the guards position, you got Luka and Steph. Yeah. Then the following three in the front court, you got Anthony Davis, Kawhi, and then um, Houston, um, Sungan, which is yeah, crazy. he got to make it. Now. He got to. Now, he I have to. a question. If you have to pick one from the Clippers between Kawhi and PG, who make it? Kawhi <laughs> been more impactful. PG be killing too. I'm going to give it yeah. to PG. I ain't going to lie. I think that's a tough call. I think that's a tough I'll call. I'll probably give it to P this year. Yeah, for sure. And then the guards at three through six, you got Shea Gildas Alexander, James sure. Harden, Kyrie, A.E. A.E. being that low is crazy. Minnesota, y'all in the pocket. Yeah, A.E. got to be number one team in the West, bro. Yeah, well, nah, okay, see, but still flirting with that number. He Shea, has to start. Shea, Shea, yeah. Yeah. Shea, 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 A.E. got to start. Luka not getting up that spot, though. No, yeah. I mean, Luka, my father. That nigga has three million votes. Yeah, Luka, Shea. The international shit. A.E., they got to be on there without a question. For sure. I think Kyrie needs to get in the All-Star team, too. I mean, on Boston's side, that nigga been going crazy this year. No, uh, yes, but he been hurt a lot. I agree. He been I hurt agree. a lot. Yeah, man, I think the All-Star, I mean, even if you look at other people in the West, I mean, to close it out. Do you think A.E. should start over Steph? I do. This year, he deserves to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, what you said, number one, number two team in the, in the fucking West. Yeah, yeah, yeah no he definitely deserves to. to the chef, but. Nah, he's the guy, but, you know, he's going to make it anyway. Y'all don't listen. Fake-ass NBA analyst. <laughs> I'll be sick of y'all motherfuckers. Kendrick Perkins pissed me off the other day when he said that Tyrese Hillebury was a system player. Have you seen us without that nigga? There is no system. Nigga, James Harden voice, I am the system. Oh, uh, yeah. But they, they yeah. record pretty good without him. We are not shit without Tyrese Hillebury. Nah, y'all y'all damn near like 10 and 3 without <laughs> They like, can go. It's last, not been as bad. The we, last 13 games are like 10 and 3, I think, or some shit like that. They can go. We are not a good team without Tyrese Hillebury. We, we we beat the lower teams with it, but as you've seen, we played the real teams, even with P, and that's getting acclimated. And we he is the system. If the I remember us last year, he is the system. Rick ain't coaching that damn good. <laughs> I, respect. I'm just keeping it a bean. He ain't that good at scheming, nigga. Shout out to Reese. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy as hell. All right. Before we get up out of here, Dark Horse, y'all say all-star game MVP. Uh one of the foreigners, one of the bigs. Mm. So it'll be Embiid or Joker to me. Well, you know Joker ain't gonna play for real. No, he definitely ain't playing he, for real. He, he mail it in. Him and Luke will be mailing it in an all-star game. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Shea. I think he gonna try to, like, kill. I think he on a mission right now. I think he trying to MVP show people. He, yeah, I think he's trying to show people he at the top of the league. Him or A.E. I guess Anthony Edwards trying to do that shit, too. Wishful thinking, I would say Tyrese because it's, it's the city, but I think Anthony Edwards is going to go kill if yeah. we'll get that shit. Yeah. Uh, Jason Tatum hit a league for me last year. I didn't have him getting 50, but my nigga got 40, so he won me some bread for sure. Hey, shout out to the niggas so that cover the parlays. It'd be kind of like a sleeper. It might be a sleeper like that because I don't think nobody had Jason Tatum winning. 
I did last year. Mm. Only because he told me he was going for it. I guess you had inside information. Yeah, he was. I'm yeah, going true. for that shit. That's so, true. Yeah. <laughs> I, ain't, I don't Collusion. bet, though. I don't bet, so it don't matter. Teague Harbaugh. Yeah, I don't bet, so. Yeah, I like that. No, nah, I don't bet, so no, I was no, like. No, the name. Fuck, yeah. fuck, fuck you betting the name. Teague Harbaugh. Nah, fuck out of here. I don't bet. <laughs> and I don't cheat, so he just said he was going for it. Oh. You said he was Eddie Guerrero last episode. <laughs> People was running that back on TikTok. I was dying. <laughs> I am Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> oh, shit. But speaking of Anthony Edwards, we got to have something soon. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all been waiting for us to drop our All-Star announcements. Y'all know we the, we the hometown kids. We got something for y'all coming real, real soon. But before we get to that, like Behan said, talk to him about that Thursday one more time. Charity game, Warren Central High School. If you're in the city for All-Star game, pull up. Tickets will be available when you see this episode. After that is... 520 and friends at All Star Sports Lounge. Pull the fuck up. And by the time you see this episode, we will officially hit 200K subscribers. I think Shout so. Shout out to my brothers. I mean, we have one idea right now. So I'm sure we're going to have that bitch tomorrow. You know how we would. Man. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing, please. I like how y'all said that, man. That's good work, man. Good work. Shout out to the gang. Shout out to Freaky Mike. Shout out to B Hen. Shout out to T. How long was this episode? 42 minutes. 30. They said y'all be shutting their episodes off too early, man. That'd be, that'd be a narrator. But on that note, like, share, subscribe, <laughs> all that good shit. We fuck with y'all. We'll be back next week. Club 520.